I'm assuming you are a kettlebell beginner and that is the reason you clicked on this video. I got something for you. If you wanna train for 30 days straight for free with your kettlebell, then check the first link in the description, click it, sign up and enjoy. <laughs> Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Leberstark hier. There's a new way to train with kettlebells. I believe that kettlebell training has changed, especially in the last couple of years. Now, back in the days around the 2000s, we had a renaissance, a modern renaissance, where Pavel Tsatsoulin brought the kettlebell back into the Western Hemisphere. Now, he came up with this training style that is called heart style, which is a great way to train with kettlebells. But there's another style that is called kettlebell sport or girvoi, and this sport originates or this way of training with kettlebells originates in Russia. Now, there used to be a huge division between the two. You either engage in giravoy sport or kettlebell sport, where you do it for the sport. You want to lift particular exercises in on a platform in a competition for as many reps as possible in a certain time window. Or you use the hard style philosophy, which comes from more the martial arts type of background, where you use more high tension in that regard. Now, I believe there is a hybrid style coming up where people are using both ways to combine it in the same training session and i believe that we are some kind of a proponent from this hybrid style now when you combine both styles together you actually engage in two trains of thought you either train for high tension where you want to maximize the tension build up in your body and move heavy weights or you aim for high volume where you work for efficiency and use certain maneuvers and movements to prolong the exercise that you can do it for longer sets of time and work for more volume. Now, what I want to do is to give you the proper size and weight to get started in this hybrid style philosophy. First of all, you wanna use a competition kettlebell, same size, even though you can buy them in different weights. This means technique doesn't have to adapt when you switch to a heavier or lighter kettlebell. You want to use an 8 kg if you are a woman or a 12 kg if you are a man to get started. This stems from the fact that based upon the experience that we have with our clients, which we work on a daily basis with, we understand that a 12 kg or an 8 kg gives you the proper feedback that you need in order to understand what the kettlebell is all about. Now I'm going to share two workouts with you the first one will be a complete beginners workout that you can do for two to three weeks and the second one is an advanced beginners workout that you can also do for two to three weeks so let's get started you start with a warm-up where you do a hinge first the hinge is a necessary movement pattern for you to understand that you have to engage with your hips as much as you can because the hips are the fundamental aspect of kettlebell training and they are the ones that are most involved when you pick up a kettlebell for a spin the second exercise is this amazing chest and lat stretch that i've borrowed from yoga the reason why i want you to incorporate this stretch is because i believe it opens up your shoulders and your hips and most people are tight in shoulders chest lats as well as in the hips exercise number three is a proper body weight squat you want to just prime your body do some sort of GPP we call this a general physical preparation before you get started with a weight so all these three exercises are weightless you do all three exercises for one minute straight unbroken this means you chain them all together of course if you need a break you take one and you do one round round total after your warm-up we start with the workout the first exercise is a deadlift now we have to engage in that hinge that we have learned previously you want to make sure that your spine is straight you push your hips back and when you stand up you contract your glutes the second exercise is a double handed press now here we use a so-called cross fit grip if you take a look at the kettlebell you see that you have a handle a bell and a window what you want to do is you want to pull the kettlebell between your legs into the backswing grabbing it by the handle and when you pull it up your thumbs jump inside the window and the fingers are, are outside on the bell now you keep your elbows close to your body then you press the kettlebell overhead and you bring it down back 
slowly. The final exercise is a goblet squat, and here we use a so-called goblet grip. So you pull the kettlebell into the backswing with one hand, you bring it up, and then you flip it and grab it with both of your hands so that your palm connect with the bell, and then you keep the bell close to your body. Now you push your knees out, make sure your, your stance is a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, your feet point left or right outwards respectively, and then you bend your knees as well as your hips, you go down as far as you can, listen to your body, and listen to your hip structure. This maybe dictates how deep you can go, and then you come back up. Again, we do all three exercises for one minute straight, unbroken again, and then we do two to three rounds, and you rest one minute in between rounds. Now, of course, if you have to put the kettlebell down even earlier, you do it. Now, here we get started with the advanced beginner's kettlebell workout. We do the same warm-up. I believe the warm-up is so crucial and so important because we want to mobilize the body first before we get started. But the workout changes. Here we go. We have the first exercise, which we call the hand-to-hand -hand swing. So you place the kettlebell approximately half a meter in front of you. You grab it by the handle. You pull it between your legs. Now you use your hips to transport the kettlebell and really thrust it forward. And think about thrusting the kettlebell upward, not forward. And when the kettlebell travels upwards, you switch grips. So this means your other hand follows, takes over the kettlebell. Then you let gravity do its thing. You wait until your arm reconnects with your body, and then you go back down into the backswing. And again, as you can see, we use the hinge as well. That's why it is such an important movement and such an important part of kettlebell training. Now with the second exercise, here comes the single-handed press. And when we clean the kettlebell, there is a proper way to do it, but you don't want to get it confused and get complicated with this way of cleaning the weight because now we want to focus on the press instead of on the clean. So you bring the kettlebell into the backswing again like you would in the swing. You pull the kettlebell up. Now you use your other arm or your other hand to support the bell and then you want to insert your wrist and part of your forearm as deep as you can into the kettlebell window as possible and then you rack the kettlebell close to your body and now you press the kettlebell up into the top fixation thinking about that you want to press the handles up first when you come back down into the rack position don't flare out with your elbow but push the elbow a little bit forward and then you come back down the final exercise is an alternate reverse lunge which adds a great amount of stability that your body has to additionally work with so you stand shoulder width apart you have the kettlebell up in that goblet grip handle now when you take a step back think about that you stand on tram lines and not on a tight rope so you take that stand back you place your foot not fully on the floor but you keep it on your toes now, you bring your whole body weight down to the floor that your right knee connects with the floor. And then you stand back up using your leading leg, which is your left leg in that case, to stand up. And then you close the distance again. You're back in the shoulder with stance. And then you do the same thing with the other side. Again, we do all three exercises for one minute straight unbroken and again we do two to three rounds and you rest one minute in between rounds now i truly believe that this is a new way of training with kettlebells i've just shown you the surface the tip of the iceberg as soon as you move forward with the kettlebells and then you for example incorporate a snatch and a get up or a heart style swing with a windmill and a clean and jerk for example then you start combining these powerful exercises from these two worlds which are not that different in fact they are more similar than they are different if you want to move forward you have to use high tension techniques so that you get stronger and that you're able to turn your body from a resting state into an active state but you also have to work high endurance stuff high volume stuff to train your heart i hope this video makes sense if it does leave a like and consider subscribing if you're into kettlebells because on this youtube channel we're all about kettlebells catch you 
on the next one. If you're looking for kettlebell courses that can help you lose weight, build muscle, and improve your kettlebell technique, then check out the Leberstock Academy. Let us help you discover a new perspective on kettlebell training, making it simple and easy for you to understand. Join the waiting list of your desired course now and secure your spot when it's open for enrollment. Link is in the description.